My name is Pat Cummings. I'm a biologist with the Nevada Department of Wildlife within the Game Division. We're in uh, Boulder City, Nevada, which is uh, fairly centrally located within Clark County, the southernmost county within the state, and very near Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. And what we're doing right now is we're, we're trying to capture some of the rams that inhabit the river mountains. It's a very small mountain range. It's only about six miles long maybe four miles wide at the widest, but the river mountains are completely surrounded by suburban development and major thoroughfares. And this, the proximity of Hemingway Park in Boulder City to the southeast end of river mountains has become quite attractive to bighorn sheep. This park was constructed back in the 1980s and bighorn sheep quickly found it. In order to access the park, however, they have to cross several streets, several private properties, and negotiate traffic and finally get to the park. The residents of Boulder City are fantastic. They look out for the sheep. It's a major attraction to the city of Boulder City. The city of Boulder City appreciates the, the, the tourists that come here. They also appreciate uh, bighorn sheep being able to access the park. However, what we're trying to avoid is 100 sheep in the park. We would rather have something reasonable, something on the order of 25, maybe a little bit more than that in the park. And what that's gonna require us doing, because this is a very productive herd, you can only imagine that if ewes are accessing this park six months out of the year, they're on an artificially high nutritional plane, which results in them being very productive. So they're pumping these lambs out left and right every year and the population would get too large, too rapidly. City of Boulder City officials want us to conduct a safe capture, as does the Boulder City Police Department. And I have assured them that the equipment that we use, the dart rifles, are very safe. Uh, indeed, we do have a playground nearby and oftentimes there are children playing in the playground while we're actively capturing bighorn sheep. We use several different delivery methods, projectors uh, with the, within our state. Uh, the one I use is a new dart rifle. Uh, it uses a, a standard Marlin platform. Uh, the reason I like this type of platform is simple. Uh, we're used to hunting with rifles. We're used to uh, in law enforcement duties. We're used to the gun type uh, platform. And this runs seamless between what we're used to and what we need to use for urban use as well for, uh, for immobilizing animals. It's really simple. Uh, in the bottom here, you, you load up your normal 22 blanks. Load your new dart directly in the, the chamber. And you know from that point on, there's a uh, dial back here that allows you to adjust the velocity or the pressure, if you will, of uh, how far and how fast this will uh, project. The Nevada Department of Wildlife uses new dart uh, for several reasons. One, they're affordable. Two, the maintenance on them. You don't have to have any, uh, any special person or maintenance schedule listed or anything like that. Uh, they're very simple, very easy to use, and extremely reliable. We uh, just from personal experience, when I have a dart loaded and I need to go ahead and fire that off, I know it's going to hit wherever I'm uh, putting it at, wherever I aim at. Uh, they fly true, uh, very, very true. Uh, there's, there's really not a uh, time I can remember where I've had one fail. I just put a dart in, a, in an adult U down here in the park. We put it in about five minutes ago. Um, we'll see how long it takes her to go out. It was a 22-yard shot, which I'm very comfortable taking a shot at about 20 yards. Uh, this gun seems to be really accurate at 20 yards for me, and I prefer the open sights uh, as opposed to the scope. So uh, that's what I choose to do. The pace at which we do dart captures in the park depends really on what our objectives are. Um, right now we're looking at further evaluating the combination drug 
the BAM combination of butorphanol, zaparone, and metatomidine, and seeing how the, the sheep respond to that. We're also evaluating an oxygen concentrator. We've never used one of those before. Uh, if it proves reliable, um, it's portable. It has uh, obvious advantages over uh, cylinders. Nevada is uh, the driest state in the Union, and the springs and seeps that wildlife rely on oftentimes were usurped by mining camps, railroad camps, homesteads, and so Nevada suffered mightily. And the introduction of livestock, especially domestic sheep, the various pathogens that domestic sheep carry, bighorn sheep often aren't immune to those, and they succumbed, and they succumbed throughout the state with some remnant populations in the southern portion of the state. And um, by the mid-1970s, we only had about 2,000 desert bighorn remaining. And so since the 1969, we've been on a very aggressive, very successful program to repatriate bighorn sheep in historic ranges throughout the state. And we also help other states with their desert bighorn conservation programs. I would recommend New Dart to any agency or any individual that has a purpose for mobilizing animals at distances. Um, it's a very simple, very simple uh, and cost-effective way and also a very safe and reliable way of immobilizing wildlife. Mm -hmm.